Good morning, it's Tuesday, November 5th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Chained Like Angels, and our scripture is Jude. So I want to remind you, though you already know these things, that Jesus first rescued the nation of Israel from Egypt, but later he destroyed those who did not remain faithful. And I remind you of the angels who did not stay within the limits of authority God gave them, but left the place where they belonged. God has kept them securely chained in prisons of darkness waiting for the great day of judgment. And don't forget Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighboring towns, which were filled with immorality and every kind of sexual perversion. Those cities were destroyed by fire and serve as a warning of the eternal fire of God's judgment. In the same way, these people who claim authority from their dreams live immoral lives, defy authority, and scoff at supernatural beings. But even Michael, one of the mightiest of the angels, did not dare accuse the devil of blasphemy, but simply said, The Lord rebuke you. This took place when Michael was arguing with the devil about Moses' body. But these people scoff at things they do not understand. Like unthinking animals, they do whatever their instincts tell them, and so they bring about their own destruction. What sorrow awaits them? For they follow in the footsteps of Cain, who killed his brother. Like Balaam, they deceive people for money. And like Korah, they perish in their rebellion. When these people eat with you in your fellowship meals, commemorating the Lord's love, they are like dangerous reefs that can shipwreck you. They are like shameless shepherds who care only for themselves. They are like clouds blowing over the land without giving any rain. They are like trees in autumn that are doubly dead, for they bear no fruit and have been pulled up by the roots. They are like wild waves of the sea churning up the foam of their shameful deeds. They are like wandering stars doomed forever to blackest darkness. Enoch, who lived in the seventh generation after Adam, prophesied about these people. He said, Listen, the Lord is coming with countless thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment on the people of the world. He will convict every person of all the ungodly things they have done and for all the insults that ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These people are grumblers and complainers living only to satisfy their desires. They brag loudly about themselves, and they flatter others to get what they want. But you, my dear friends, must remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ predicted. They told you that in the last time there would be scoffers whose purpose in life is to satisfy their ungodly desires. These people are the ones who are creating divisions among you. They follow their natural instincts because they do not have God's Spirit in them. But you, dear friends, must build each other up in your most holy faith, pray in the power of the Holy Spirit, and await the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will bring you eternal life. In this way, you will keep yourselves safe in God's love. If you've ever felt frustrated and flummoxed by the state of moral behavior in the world, you need to let Jude periodically remind you of what it's like to have a sane, Christ-like response to ungodliness. The sorrow and anguish of holy God's judgment is more than enough recompense to rebellious people who only follow the needs of satisfying their desires. God knows what punishment is sufficient. No human attempt to defend God or jump on the bandwagon of punishing evildoers comes close to being righteous. Settling the score for those who remain in their sins is God's purview. We have no business there. Instead, remember what Paul wrote, Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. When followers of Jesus Christ begin to act like it's the 12th century and the call comes to gather up spears and swords to go on another crusade against the heathen, it's time to rethink what it means to be a soldier of the cross. Are we all about conquest and winning? Or are we going to act in faith 
that victory belongs only to God. For you today, in ancient times, angels followed a warrior who thought he'd take God's place. Jude reminds us that they're now in chains awaiting final judgment. Don't make the same mistake. Err on the side of being too peaceful. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.